Hi everyone, this is Ben. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video to talk about the new uh, Shaper Lab software that Shaper Tools has released, which is a uh, sort of basic vector editing software designed specifically to be used with the Shaper Origin. Um, this uh, apparently launched on the 16th. Uh, no one told me. Um, I didn't get an email about it till yesterday on the 20th, uh, but I've gotten a chance to do a couple uh, little experiments with it, and I actually think it's much better than I thought it was. I thought it would be a much uh, simpler sort of, you know, for people who hadn't had experience with other design softwares. But actually, it, it seems uh, fairly good. Um, so I'm going to link to this page, uh, this sort of welcome page that Shaper has, plus the uh, explainer videos here uh, in the description if anyone's interested. Um, I'm just going to go through, walk through a basic project here. Um, in the future, I would like to have a uh, chicken cut out uh, some, you know, that's on the mind, so I'm going to use that. Um, we can go three inches here. Uh, you can scale it uh, with the box, uh, with the um, properties panel there, or you can scale scale it with the uh, corners here. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is going to make a little sign here. Uh, finish editing. Good. Uh, then we have a text tool. So right now it appears that you can't... Um, do multi-line text, which is something that I'm hoping they'll add in the future. Uh, we can add a caution here, expand proportionally. Um, and we can also change the font. I think we'll go with uh, this one, uh, maybe. Yeah, this one, that looks pretty caution-y. We'll go with that one. So if I uh, scale with these, it's going to not let me because it's still set to proportional. But if I unlink here and then stretch here, I can do that. And then as well, I can also do uh, an additional line of text here. If I finish editing, click away, add text. Okay, add text to canvas. Make it big, change the font. Okay, so this is just a simple uh, project here that I wanted to build, just as an example. Uh, if I was actually doing this, I'd be a lot more careful about making sure things look okay, but uh, that doesn't look too bad here. I can just, uh, maybe a little bit more room between the diagram, or the uh, SVG in the middle. Um, and then we can add a shape. Here, for the background, and then that's done. And we can go in here, we can go up to the top here, uh, say chicken sign, and then we can choose to either download it or upload it to Shaper Hub. Um, I think for most uh, projects, you're probably going to be easier to upload it straight to Shaper Hub. Uh, which is something that I wanted to mention because this is um, available on mobile. So you could be out in the shop uh, working with the Shaper Origin, have it uploaded to Shaper Hub and be ready to immediately use it in a project, which I think is going to be something that I will definitely want to try out and use in the future. Um, okay, so this. And then the other feature that I did want to show off here is for people who have uh, used Illustrator. Um, that's my software of choice. I don't know about other softwares. Um, but one of the tools that I've always really used a lot with the origin is the shape builder tool where you can select uh, multiple shapes and then combine them. Uh, Shaper Labs has a tool called Shapeshifter where you can do basically the same concept if you're familiar with that. I can combine these two shapes, make a shape, and then have whatever this toast slice looking shape here. So I'm gonna to go to the shop. I'm gonna cut this out, make this sign, and... So even though this isn't supposed to be a review, I wanted to jump in here just to give my final thoughts. Um, this isn't a feature complete editor. It's not going to replace Adobe Illustrator or uh, a program like that. I, I understand that there's uh, versions uh, probably quite similar to this online where you can do uh, these sorts of things, but this being from Shaper, having a bit of Shaper optimization, I think it's valuable. I think it's something that uh, a lot of people uh, will be interested in, which is why I made the video. 
Uh, I'm interested to see your questions and comments. Um, if you want to leave those below. Um, thanks for watching.